Do you have an iPhone that restarts about every three minutes? It's most likely because the charging port or the power button flex is bad. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to look at the panic logs to figure out what is causing the problem. There's this tool called the panic log analyzer. So I'm gonna walk you through how to use it. And also just kind of cover this topic in general because there's a lot of incorrect information out there online. So I'm Jesse from BCC Board Repairs. Thanks a lot for joining us here on the channel. Hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and check out the links down below in the description if you want to get a t-shirt like this or some other cool stuff so let's go ahead and get started with the video so first let's go over some basics uh, on iphone 10 and newer devices for some reason apple has decided to require certain sensors to be detected in order to prevent the device from restarting and an iPhone 10, XS, and XS Max it requires a charging port flex to be plugged in, and it has to be an OEM or premium part. You can't use aftermarket because they're very unreliable and most likely will cause it to restart. On iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, these require not only a charging port, but also the power button flex to be plugged in. If they're not plugged in, then either, if neither of these are plugged in, uh, then the phone will restart every three minutes because of the same issue because it's looking for the sensor so Interesting thing is we have access to what they're called the panic logs So whenever an iPhone restarts due to an unexpected issue Apple records this in a file called the panic log and this is something we can look up in the device So let's go ahead and go look at uh, an example right all right, so to find the panic log itself, you need to go to your settings app, scroll down to privacy. At the second to last option, there's analytics and improvements. Then here at the top, click analytics data. Here's all the different logs that the iPhone keeps. And the ones we need is called, uh, starts with panic full. These are the actual panic logs for random restarts. So if we click on one of them, Here's the giant log. And if you look through it, you'll see, for example, thermal monitor D, missing sensors, PRSO0. There's a bunch of other data, but this is the most important part is like this top section of this paragraph. Now, there is a tool called the Panic Log Analyzer. It is made by Wayne Bonici. And this tool scans this file and puts it on the computer. And there's some kind of known issues um, that, that can be detected by the tool and kind of will point you to the potential problem. So let's go ahead and look at the tool instead because it's a lot easier than scrolling through a phone. All right, so what you want to do is Google search panic log analyzer. And the first option should be something like uh, from GitHub, which is iDevice panic log analyzer. And if you click on it, you'll see um, the page from Wayne Bonici here on, on the top. And this page might be a little bit confusing if you're new to GitHub, but to find the actual Windows installation file, you need to go here on the right where it says releases and whatever is the latest one at the time that you're downloading it, that's the one you want. So click on it. And then at the bottom, there's going to be a bunch of different files. And then here you'll find the setup exe file. Click on that. Then you can download the program. Let that download. Now, here's a tool. So it's super easy to install, just double click it. Now you might get a warning like this. Just click more info and run anyway. Also keep in mind, this is Windows only. There's no Mac or Linux version that I'm aware of. Uh, and here's just a disclaimer. And here you go. So what you wanna do is plug in the device to the PC. Make sure you unlock the screen, type in the pin code, trust the device that way the PC can detect the device and talk to it so as you can see here is detected iPhone 11 so go ahead and click read logs this is downloading the logs from the device to the PC to this tool and they're sorted by date and time the top one being the most recent and this is basically a more formatted cleaner version of what you saw on this on the panic log on the device one of the important things you'll see here is uh, thermal monitor D. This is basically the charging port. 
but if you look closer, there's a part that says missing sensors, PRS, PRS zero, and this will change depending on which flex is bad. So on iPhone 11, if it's the charging port, you'll get PRS zero or mic one as the missing sensor. If it's the power button flex, instead of uh, here, you'll see mic two. Now here on the bottom is some potential uh, solutions here. So charging port, uh, NTC thermistor sensor or power button flex. Now th this is just suggestions. It's kind of just pointing you to the right direction. It doesn't actually know exactly what the problem is. And this is kind of, uh, could be potentially outdated information. So, so now let me show you some, another log I have here where you can see it says mic two. So, you know, in this case, uh, the, the power button flex was disconnected or it was a bad power button flex. So like if you hit, if you did a back glass, uh, laser job, um, the laser itself can damage the flex and that's what can cause the three minute restart. So this is all something to, to take into consideration when you're troubleshooting. So let's do a quick test. If I run this, I will show you how this is just a three minute restart. So let's go ahead and just let it run and see what happens. And there you have it, it's restarted. Okay, so this iPhone 11 had a bad charging port because if you saw in the log, we were getting PRS zero. This means it's a charging port. So I've temporarily plugged in a known good OEM or premium charging port. I got this from Mobile Centrix. It is a premium part and it's plugged in and everything else is plugged back in. And if I run the timer, you'll see that eventually it will pass the three minute mark. It actually, before this, I had ran it for like 30 minutes with no restarts. Now, one thing, uh, while this is going, uh, one thing I would, I would recommend is uh, keep your known good parts in your shop. Use them for testing only. Do not use them on customers' phones. And what I like to do is put like green stickers on them with the dates, meaning they were tested and they're known good. So anytime a device comes in with this type of issue, what I'll do is I'll get my known good parts, either, you know, known good screen, known good charging port, a known good power button, you know, all these pieces that are required for the device to function, plug them in and then just let it run, you know, either run YouTube on it, run the, you know, the stopwatch, just so that you can run and test to rule out the problem. Now I do want to give a shout out to Wayne Bonici for making this tool. It just makes things so easy to diagnose, you know, just plug in the phone and then just pull up the log tool, uh, the panic logs. Now here at the bottom, there's a donate button. Make sure you click that and shoot them a few bucks. You know, any, you know, anything will help. So you know, if you appreciate how much time this tool has saved you, definitely consider giving a donation. Uh, you know, the more donation he gets, the more improvements and, you know, more software he will make for us, you know, techs who do troubleshooting. But as you can see, we made it way past the three minute mark no restarting and it's still going. This proves to us that PRS zero was due to a bad charging port. So I have the new charging port uh, plugged in and it's working. This is an OEM port from Mobile Centrix. So like I said, uh, the panic log pointed us to that direction. Now, if I were to unplug the power button flex, run it for more than three minutes, it will restart. And if we check the log, then you'll see the missing sensor will say mic two. So this is how you can use the panic log to, you know, point you to the right direction to the potential problem. Now, some other scenarios for iPhone 11 specifically that can cause 3 minute restarts is this. So here on the upper left of the, of the housing, there's uh, two flexes that plug in together uh, through the volume flex. So it goes up through here and they connect together and they often get liquid damage. So what you'll notice is there's corrosion on the connector and then on both sides of the connector. So something to keep in mind, uh, but apparently this was not enough to cause this specific device to restart, but it can happen. I've seen it before. And one other thing is 
that the board itself, you know, this is a sandwich board. So there's two layers stacked on top of each other. And if you think about it, the power button flex plugs in on the bottom board and it has to, tr the, the signals have to travel through the bottom board up the interposer to the top layer. So like, for example, you see here rear mic two and it goes, where is it? If I skip to the next spot, you can see it connects, uh, you know, through here so from the bottom board to the top board. Now, if this had a really hard drop, those pads can rip. And now it's virtually the same as the flex being unplugged. If the interposer, you know, the two layers between, um, you know, the bottom and top board are disconnected because a physical break in the solder and the solder uh, itself or the pad itself ripped off, that would be like if it was unplugged, causing the three minute restart. So here's some other scenarios that you can run into on the iPhone 11 specifically. And then also, um, there's other things that can cause uh, just random restarts in general, whether it's NAND, it's Wi-Fi. I've seen the camera I see cause a three minute restart on, uh, I think it was the 11 or 10s Max. So it's a variety of things, but you know, use the panic log tool to kind of give you an idea what could be causing it. There's some other errors you might run across. So if that's the case, if it's not thermal monitoring, uh, is not missing sensors, you know, mic one, mic two, PRS zero, and it's gonna be something else. So you'll have to kind of figure that out on your own. Now there is a list that uh, Greg Wade has shared with me that is like some known, uh, you know, panic errors and their solution, or at least, you know, what could be causing it. So I'll link that down below in the description. Also link down below these new t-shirts I have. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you ever seen a panic log uh, yourself and you kind of figured it out, uh, let me know down below in the comments that I'm interested to see what you guys are seeing out there. And, um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks everyone for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.